Good morning, guys. So I made this huge announcement yesterday saying I passed the NBME CBSE, and then I realized a lot of people probably don't know what that is. And if you do know what it is, you probably don't know what happens after that or what it means. So NBME, National Board of Medical Examiners, right? They give an exam called the CBSE. It's a comprehensive basic science exam. And that's what all foreign medical students, or IMGs, international medical students, Caribbean medical students, have to take in order to take the USMLE. There's some schools within the United States that also make you take it. I know for sure Meharry makes you take it, and I don't know about the others. I haven't researched. For me to continue on to clinical rotations, I have to take the CBSE and then apply for a USMLE ID to then register for the USMLE exam. I'm really hoping that all of this makes sense because it's a lot of abbreviations, a lot of things that people probably have never heard of before. So how I get this USMLE ID is that I have to register as a ECFMG student. So ECFMG is Education Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates. So through them saying that I am a foreign medical graduate, I have to apply through them to get the USMLE ID as opposed to American medical students who just get the USMLE ID. Uh, the reason I have to go through this extra step is to prove that, yes, my medical school is accredited, yes, I can practice in the United States, etc., etc. I have done all the requirements necessary. That takes a couple days. After I get that ID form, then I can move on to another set of a whole bunch of steps. I have to fill out Form 186, I have to fill out an IWA, it's just, it's just a lot. I won't bore you guys with all the paperwork unless you do want to know about the paperwork, um, unless you are possibly applying for the same thing in the future and you do need to know more details about it. Let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely make a video walking through all the uh, forms, how to fill it out, etc. But the reason I have to go through all this, if you didn't know, is because in the third year of medical school you start rotations. So this is different from residency. A lot of people always think it's residency. It's not. Residency happens after you graduate. I'm completing my third and fourth year of medical school, right? So third year is when your clinical rotations start. So under the umbrella of clinical rotations, you have your core rotations and your elective rotations. So third year is cores, mostly, and fourth year is electives. So for one year, I'll be in one hospital or one group of hospitals doing a core rotation. With Ross, you have to start with something called IMF. That stands for Internal Medicine Foundation. So it's kind of, the best way I can describe it is like a prep course, like a like an intro to clinicals. It's, it's just, it's a six week session. It happens right here in Miramar in Florida. And you, you practice your physical exam skills, your just your clinical skills that you're going to need before you get into core rotation. So we do that for six weeks and then your core rotations include internal medicine. You do that for 12 weeks. Surgery is for eight weeks. Family medicine is for six weeks. OBGYN is six weeks and psychiatry is six weeks. So that is your core. The entire thing is like 44 weeks, but we say it's a year because you know, you have uh, things called shelf exams. Those are the exams that you take at the end of every core rotation. It's just a Did you actually learn during this core rotation? Awesome. You take an exam and um, There's breaks in between like a week or a couple days in between rotations. So all in all it takes a year So that's third year of med school. I don't really want to get into fourth year of med school yet I don't want to like throw too much information into this vlog. I feel like it's already just really dense but remember as always if you have any questions at all Leave it in the comments. You guys know I reply to every single comment. If it's not in a vlog, then I'll reply as a comment. So I actually think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I know this entire vlog was just in my room, but I, I realized that a couple people don't know what happens next. I guess this is more of a FYI vlog, and if you do have any questions, please leave it, leave it in the comments. If you don't want your comments to be public, check me out on Facebook. Uh, I think I mentioned a couple vlogs ago I'll be using the Facebook more than the Twitter. It's just more convenient for me. I answer those questions really, really quickly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I make daily videos. They come out every single day at 8. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to like and subscribe, comment, and share.